Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Earlier we have seen that is the how the leader's role is becoming very very important uh, uh, with the different uh, dimensions is there. In this particular presentation we will see that is the what are the first uh, role of a leader as a first uh, 90 days right. And before you start uh, do your homework, the first day do you get only one chance to make a first impression. Uh, the first two weeks lay the foundation, the first two months strategy structure and staffing, the third month communicate and drive change. Then the as usual we are having the case study research paper book recommendations and, and the uh, references. Now, whenever we are talking about the leadership development uh, uh, versus the leadership development is there. So, it, it is become the person whenever we are saying about uh, the leader development. So, it is a person or individual's uh, development is there. Whenever we are talking about the leadership development, then in that case we are talking about the complete process and in the complete process it becomes uh, important uh, that is the uh, whether the right from the beginning to the end the leader has been able to develop or not. And uh, in this case, the leader development that facilitate the growth in individual's perspective, knowledge, skills and abilities that is the human capital is there. Now, here you see that is the uh, leadership development and the uh, leader development is there. And uh, you can find out that is the, uh, it is the uh, how that is the from the uh, leaders development that is becoming much bigger as compared to the leadership development is there. So, indigenous uh, that knowledge, skills and abilities, human capital KSA right that is becoming uh, very, very important is there. Developing such as a degree of trust among all the members of a team or department or on enhancing the reward system in an organization to better encourage collaborative behavior. It is focused on the promoting networked relationships among the individuals in organization, social capital is there. So, therefore, in that case it is, it, it is the however you are having that interaction with the society and there, uh, here it is very, very important that when you are developing as a leader, then the role of the uh, your society is become be, uh, very, very important in the sense that when you are talking about the leadership development, then it becomes very, very important that is the whole process is getting developed. Right. So, people often find moving into a new leadership position to be a highly stressful work experience and uh, because in the beginning everything is changed, the followers are changed, the situation is changed right and then totally the organization culture has changed. So, first few days uh, highly stressful work experience is there. These promotions involve relocations, working for the new organizations and bosses, leading new teams and being responsible for the products or services and that may be outside their immediate area of expertise. This, this might be the challenges. The first three months give leaders unique opportunities to make smooth transitions, paint compelling pictures of the future and uh, drive organizational change. So, what you are supposed to do that is a smooth transitions is to be there right and uh, that future what is your vision, what you want to do and then drive the organization. Um, those early activities often are instrumental to a leader's future success or failure. So, the, in the first first or two weeks only you will find that it will be decided that is the leader will be successful or not. So, first step before you start do your homework uh, uh, pre hire data gathering so, and therefore, in that case before you join uh, that is you start please collect the all the data and the post hire activities that what is expected from you. So, therefore, for hiring what data is required that you should be clear for this particular leadership position and the post hiring position will be that is what you are having after this particular before you start. The first day meet your boss, meet your entire team. So, therefore, that interaction the first two weeks meet team members, meet peers, meet stars and other meetings are there. 
the first two months obtain external perspectives, strategy structure and staffing, socialize the decisions, substance to the issues and get the feedback. The third month establish the culture, team of site values, strategy of rhythm, improvement areas and sub, uh, sub team analysis is there. So, therefore, whenever you when whenever you are starting right, so you, you are first getting updated yourself, your homework is updated and when your homework is updated then definitely and you are very clear what activities you are going to plan, but you cannot plan in isolation. What you have to do? You have to meet your boss and get the permission for what activities you are planning, brief about it and then get the guidance. The boss may say something, something yes, may say something no and then therefore, in that case you, you have to be very careful while you are delivering the activities because ultimately you are responsible for your boss. So, meet team the members because whatever the, uh, the advices you got from your boss in your meeting uh, that, that has to be also shared that vision activities are to be shared with your team members. So, when you, you meet your team members and peers, then definitely in that case you will be able to get work done from them. That is, this is the vision, vision the uh, uh, about the uh, organization. So, that future activities that how these activities are to be performed and that, that you, will, you will talk about uh, how you are going to do it. So, therefore, in that case before you start it is very, very important that is you do your homework. In all likelihood people wanting to move into a leadership role um, with another organization right. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, and is also very important especially in the top position what happens you are moving from one organization to the another organization and the another organization have already done a considerable amount of the preparation for the interview process. Candidates should have read as much as they can about the organization by reviewing its websites, reports, uh, press releases and the marketing literature and therefore, in that case um, uh, you, you will be able to know about the organization. It is always important that is the before you take uh, enter into any organization that you are fully aware about that organization and they should also use the Facebook, LinkedIn, Plexo and other social networking sites to set up informational interviews with people inside the organizational. So, uh, they therefore, in, in that case that informational interviews will be there. So, you will come to know about that organization what is the structure, what are the practices, what are the objectives, what are the goals are there and therefore, in that case uh, what, what becomes important is that is the these goals, objectives, these perspectives whether and they are able to come out with the uh, that uh, expectations or not. So, therefore, you come to know uh, in advance the expectations uh, uh, from, uh, from the uh, organization where you are likely to uh, adopt the uh, uh, leadership position. Find answers the following questions, why is the organization looking for an outside hire from the position? So, therefore, uh, the, a very important question and very interesting question also that is the whether uh, uh, why, why they are hiring from outside, is there nobody from the inside of that organization and what can make the function or team to be uh, led more effective. So, when you, when you are having the infor, uh, informational uh, uh, data with you, you will be able to uh, adopt it in the currently working in the function of team to be late. So, what is the current situation is there, therefore, you know that is what is currently uh, there are issues which are um, causing the worry and the, what is not working in the function of team to be late and what are the things uh, are the stones which you, you have to move. And therefore, in that case, if you know that is the yes, so therefore, in that case, the intuitors awake at night, right? So uh, that is the. It becomes very important. That is the. If the functional team is keeping interviewers awake, then definitely they will be always ready. That what what is expected from them. And when whenever they are ready to perform that whatever is expected from them, then definitely there will be no gap between the leader and the team members, but if there is even there is a gap the leader will be able to bridge because he is having the information. New leaders uh, you get only the one chance to make a first impression, so uh, two critical tasks the first day on the job to meet their new boss and their new team. The first meeting should happen in the boss office and, and be about an hour long, 
here are some key topics to discuss in this meeting. So, therefore, in that case you get the full directions. If you are getting that full, full direction uh, in this particular meeting, identifying the team's key objectives, that what are the key objectives are there. Uh, um, basically, normally 3, 4 and 5 maximum objectives will be there, which the leader uh, is expected from the leader, why he has been up, uh, appointed. And the leader should be enough smart to understand these objectives. These metrics is an important projects which he has to be expected to complete. Then when you understand the boss view, your meeting schedules and communication styles. So, therefore, you are, through this meeting also, you will also know your boss, right? And what is his communication styles and sharing plans for the day and the next several weeks is there. So, uh, you should be well prepared, right? During the first impression, that is you are very clear what you want to do, what are your objectives, what are your goals. And in the, in the first six months, what you what you want to do are means uh, if it is uh, for the short period of time in first six weeks or first three days, what you will like to do, and then weekly, what you and monthly it will go, and yearly it will go. So depends on your uh, uh, the appointment uh, for the period of appointment uh, that what type of the uh, period of appointment uh, you are having. So new leaders should spend the first two weeks meeting with the many people uh, lay the foundation here, both inside and outside the team. The key obje objectives for these meetings uh, that, that whenever you are having with the, these people uh, uh, from these different uh, 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 departments or sections, right, uh, or uh, from the even from the suppliers, right. So, learn as much as possible. Whenever uh, you are interacting with the team members, uh, let them speak more, understand what they, what they want to say, develop the relationships, uh, this is very, very important. That is the, this relationship development with your followers. Uh, if it is strong, the binding is strong. I am sure that that is the your leadership will be successful. But in the first meeting, right, or in the initial phase of your appointment, if uh, there is not a strong binding between the leader and uh, team members, it is always a challenge. Determine the future allies. So therefore, in that case, allies in the sense that is the between the leader and follower also that who will be you will be able to identify whenever you are having the frequent meetings with your followers you will be able to understand that is the who are the persons or personalities with whom you can interact and direct because what happens uh, that is the during this interaction while you are laying the foundation uh, the people uh, with their communication styles will expose themselves and you will be able to understand that who one will be the more uh, effective or more uh, appropriate for your task. The one on one meetings usually last from 2 to 3 hours and some of the critical questions to ask include what is a team member working on and they, that is a one on one is with that it is a middle management people specially and what are the team members objectives. So, on, on what issues they are working? And if they are working on the issues which are very, very um, crucial and then whether they, then that those uh, uh, crucial uh, his actions are meeting with the objectives or not. What are the people issues on the team? Whether these uh, uh, the, the, uh, the people, those who are working with the team members are they performing or they are not performing? What can the team do better? And therefore, in the in this case, uh, uh, that whatever the current level of uh, performance is there, suppose it is the L1 level. So, how we can reach to the L2 level? What advice do team members have for the new leader? Hmm? And therefore, in that case, uh, it is also to better to get the feedback from them. That is uh, what to do and what not to do by the leaders according to them. And if they, they know about these things, that is the, uh, the leader is already aware. He knows in advance what is his team members are expecting and what is the team members because in, in another sense this is the support which they are looking for if they they, they are able to um, uh, get this particular feedback the leader is able to get the particular feedback what my my followers are looking for it will be a great support their peers objectives challenges team structure and the like then def definitely their perspectives on what the new leaders team does well and could do better. Uh, in that case, it, it, it will be always, always important that is the, we, the, the leaders, right? That perspective of the leaders uh, leading to the new team, it will be always having the better understanding. Their perspectives on the new leaders team members, right? So, therefore, in that case, uh, when the peers, his peers and their perspectives, 
for example, you have appointed at the middle management level uh, and then what are the perspective of the middle management for the, uh, his followers, how to best communicate with the boss from the issues with the peers, when you are discussing with the peers, peers will give you, uh, you hint that is what type of our boss is, how issues get raised and decisions made on their boss team. So, therefore, in that case, whenever we are talking about these uh, whatever the issues and directions are there uh, in the boss team, then whether they are able to perform or they are not able to uh, perform and uh, you will also understand how you can be a team member for your boss. And therefore, in that case, uh, it becomes very, very important that is the you, you interact with your peer and get the feedback from them. In the first two months, there will be the strategy, structure and the staffing. So, whenever we, uh, you have to find out that is the performed during this time including gathering benchmarking information from other organizations. Always, I, I always emphasize, I have the 10 years industry experience and then always uh, I learn that is the we have to also see the other organizations, especially the competitors and others and what are their benchmarking practices, we will learn from them. Then meeting with the key external customers and suppliers and if appropriate meeting with the, uh, the former team leader. <laughs> now, now you see here the word has been used if appropriate. So, in the case with the appropriate means that that is the if uh, you find that is the, it is better to meet then only meet. If you find that is the meeting with the team leader will not be liked by your boss, please do not meet the previous leader. When all these informations are combined with your the bosses, peers, stars should uh, help new tune leaders to direction for your team. The first 90 days on the job provide a unique window for following new challenges need to socialize their strategy structure and staffing all what you, you, you get from your boss, uh, peers and the subordinates and that will help you to create a particular strategy, structure and policies for the organization and therefore, the new leader even after meeting the previous leader also if possible as I mentioned. So, he understand what will work and what will not work and whatever will be the possible that he can implement in in whatever but if you understand that something cannot be implemented um, after meeting with that uh, boss peers and subordinate if you understand then definitely in that case he he can communicate and uh, the, with the others and can know the more and more solutions to the problems once he understand the solutions to the problems then he can communicate and drive change. This particular communication and drive change uh, which uh, he has to perform at this point, then he she has developed a vision of the future that what will be the vision of the future and can articulate how the team will win. So, therefore, in that case uh, this can be identified the what, why and how of any needed changes and defined a clear set of expectations for the team members. So, um, really it is a wonderful idea that is uh, before you start in a new organization, it is always better that you, you yourself are interacting with others and you are yourself are getting aware, educated and trained and learned by the others uh, during this team. So, therefore, you know there is a what, why and how, what is required in the organization and therefore, then you can make the necessary changes as per the expectations. Now, here in the, in the third month communicate and drive the change. The, now, the time has come to now uh, sitting on, on the driving seat and then making the changes are there because you are very clear that what is the culture is there, what is the expected is there, what type of the followers are there, what type of the situation is there and on basis of these all incomplete informations now, now, you, now it is the time for your performance. So, get an agreement on the critical attributes and values of team members. So, interact with the team should aside uh, time during the offsite meeting to finalize and clearly define the positive and negative behaviors for all the attributes and values they want to see in team members. So, now, now it is a time, now you can tell about that what, what, what is what you are looking uh, uh, amongst your team members, what are the positive and what are the negative uh, uh, attributes that uh, which you do not want. So, therefore, in that case create a team scorecard. The new leader will paint a vision and some overall objectives uh, for the future, but the direct report team needs to formulate a set of concrete specific goals with timelines and benchmarks for the measuring success and there uh, here it becomes uh, uh, it, it should be measurable 
it is always has been told that whenever we are talking about uh, the achievement of goals. So, goals are to be very specific, they should be concrete means they should be measurable that is the if these, these are the goals are there and then in that case you uh, how you will achieve those goals, what will be the your pathway for that to achieve the particular goals and when you are sharing with all these aspects with your team members then definitely in that case you will be becoming a, uh, a, a pioneer leader because your team members they are very clear and establish an operating rhythm and once you start then definitely you, you have to develop a rhythm with you with your team members. Once the direction and goals have been clarified, the team will need to work on its meeting and cadence and rules of engagement is there, then how to perform those. The new leader and the direct report uh, uh, team need to determine how often they will meet, uh, when they will meet, the purpose and content of the meetings, meeting roles and rules will be there. So, therefore, everything is very uh, clarified. Establish the task forces to work on the key change initiatives. So, whatever the key change initiatives are there, so you will make a certain people responsible. In all likelihood, a number of issues will need to be addressed by the team. So, naturally, when we are you are talking about the key change initiatives, your team members they will address the issues, and then on basis of those issues, there will be discussion. Some of these issues can be discussed and resolved during the offsite meeting. Whereas, a task forces might be a better venue for resolving the other issues. Always whenever you are having this type of the issues or try to resolve these issues with your team members. Now, as usual I would like to support a research paper in this particular concepts. Uh, embracing leadership a multifaceted model of leader identity development is there, uh, how, how you are able to develop that leader. Now, the authors uh, and the journals uh, have been mentioned here and therefore, in that case this particular paper the leadership development has made uh, the uh, uh, always a skill based focus. Now, now, you see leadership is also a skill. So, therefore, uh, this paper also is saying that is a multifaceted model right and then uh, as we have discussed earlier that is uh, whenever we are talking about the leadership models and uh, 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 approaches of leadership then that leader is required to identify the development that what sort of the development the uh, is required in a given situation. If in a given situation the person is able to complete that particular task then definitely he will be able to uh, deliver and uh, getting this uh, leadership more and more effective unless and until he is not making that uh, 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 understanding of this multitask, multitask, multifaceted leadership is there then there will be no, no challenges and there will be no issues that will be the part of this uh, uh, the effective leadership is there. So, leadership development has been the replete with a skill based focus. However, learning and development can be a constraint by the deeper level. Uh, hidden self knowledge that influences how people process information and construct uh, meaning is there. So, here we have to also see that is the how hidden self knowledge is uh, the uh, is uh, can be uh, we can explore and the purpose of this paper is to answer the question of how people construct and develop their leader identity. As we have seen that is in the previous uh, part that is the whenever we are talking about uh, the developing the leadership in the 19 days of that particular model. Similarly, we have to also see that is the how people construct and develop their leader identity is there. The authors intend to shed light on the critical facets of identity changes that occur as an individual grapple with existing understanding of the self and of leadership transfer of them and absorbs new personalized notions of leadership into their identity and therefore, in that this is a new identity is there. When you have joined you are having a particular identity and when the video the period of time you develop your leadership style now the, there is your new identity is there. So, uh, what is the new identity? It is more acceptable and why it is called the new? Because you have changed as soon as you have joined the organization you are having the new leadership style then definitely you have changed. So, your identity has also been changed. Now, in earlier organization it might be the autocratic or the authoritative style while in the new organization it is more democratic and participative style is there because you have developed that particular culture. So, in the in the basis of this the leaders continuous journey and in this continuous journey he is developing a new identity. 
a grounded theory study of participants and their mentors in a lay leadership development program in a Catholic discourse. Uh, the authors uh, inductively drew uh, a conceptual model describing, describing uh, how leader uh, identity evolves. And therefore, in that case, uh, we have to also see that is uh, how successfully uh, the new identity has been uh, developed. And uh, for this purpose, uh, the finding that uh, leader identity development was not a unidimensional event. Rather, it was a multifaceted process that encompassed three key factors of identity development, expanding boundaries, recognizing interdependence and discerning purpose. Further, it is a co evolvement of these three factors and people's bo the broadening understanding of leadership that led to a more salient leader identity is there. So, therefore, always whenever we are talking about uh, the boundaries and interdependence, uh, then definitely in that case, uh, the leader uh, actually in the fact uh, the leadership will be boundaryless because it will be keep on changing and whenever we are having this keep on changing the leadership style then definitely it will be very much uh, possible that is the your new identity is developed. So, it will be very interesting that is in your previous organization people are saying about your identity something different and in the new organization the people are saying your identity that is a something different and therefore, in that case, uh, but uh, ultimately what is the result? The finding could be used to guide leadership development professionals to build targeted learning activities around key components of leader identity development. Diagnose where people are in their leadership journey, set personalized goals with them and provide pointed feedback to learners in the process of developing their leader identity is there. And therefore, in that case, this is, this is the always the whatever the these your followers, they are giving you the feedback on basis of that feedback, uh, you are developing uh, that particular identity is there. And that new identity uh, uh, and uh, again you join the organization which is more or less uh, similar to the your prior organization, then definitely in that case, you can also find out that is the yes, you can develop that particular identity. Uh, which was the in the previous organization. Laura is the associate director of a non-profit agency that provides assistance to the uh, children and uh, families uh, and, uh, and in this is the case study of the time to act as a leader and uh, in this particular role, she is the head of the department that focuses on evaluating the skill building programs the agency provides to families and she reports directly to the agency leadership is there. So, that Laura's uh, this particular role right that is the the uh, like the assistance to the children and families uh, it, it is giving the uh, uh, through the agency right uh, in the hiring this year because of the uh, increased competition for the federal grant funding is there and uh, this skill building programs agency provides uh, therefore in that case uh, here uh, the, it is uh, directly to the agency leadership is becoming important however they have also suffered a high staff turnover two directors, three key research staff uh, and one staff person from the finance department have left. Now, um, where she was working as a head of the department, there she, uh, it, it the employees turnover that was becoming a very, very important uh, issue. And uh, as it has been mentioned, that is this finance uh, people, those who, have, who were working in this particular organization and those, those uh, they have already left, uh, left the organization. So, therefore, in that case, it becomes uh, uh, for a leader, when she has become the, this particular ro role, uh, then, then she has to find out the reason. And Lara has a demanding schedule that requires frequent travel. However, she supervises two managers who in turn are responsible for five staff members each. Both managers have been appointed within the last six months is there, uh, but ultimately she is a leader. So, she has to find out the solution because the em employees are leaving. So, they, they have had these two, two managers are there, manager one Kelly manages staff who provides research support to another department that delivers behavioral health services to youth. Uh, Kelly supported her staff and is very organized. Kelly is very motivated and driven and expects the same from her staff and therefore, the Laura is having this uh, strong support from Kelly. Linda has a strong background in social science research. She manages staff that work on different projects within the agency. She is known as a problem solver and is extremely supportive of her staff. Uh, she is very organized and has a wealth of experience in evaluation of family services. So, therefore, in that case and um, here she, she, she is becoming the team member 
and uh, her, her staff uh, they, they are having the high support for her and uh, as a result of which uh, you will find that is the that leadership styles both both managers uh, those who were reporting to Laura uh, they, they are having the different uh, approaches and therefore in that case uh, when, when we are talking about the delivery of the task uh, whether the manager 1, manager 2 and Laura because ultimately what was the uh, challenge? Challenge was the employees turnover. The managers are sensing that staff are becoming overworked as everyone takes on increased responsibilities due to high staff turnover. Staff have also mentioned that Lara's glass half empty conversation style leaves them feeling dejected. Now here and that is the glass half empty style means that is sometimes hopeful sometimes not and therefore in that case con conversation style uh, 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 they were not uh, sure whether she is positive or not. In addition Lara has not shared budgets with her managers. So, they are having difficulty appropriately allocating work to staff. Lara said she has not received sufficient information from the finance department to complete the budgets. The finance department said they have sent her all the information they have available <laughs> which is very very common uh, uh, problem that is the Lara is saying that is the uh, the finance department has not communicated the budget properly and the, the uh, financial department says they have sent all the information to the Lara whatever she, she is supposed to know and therefore in that case uh, that uh, this was the same department where earlier the employees have left the organization. And and here also you will find that is even the current staff and uh, they are saying that they have given her the full information while the employee is saying that is the no they are not able to find out the solution. Now if this is so, how can Lara uh, most effectively use both management and leadership skills in her role as associate director? And what combination of the two do you think would work best in this setting? So, therefore, in because uh, as the staff has become distressed and becoming the frustrated, they feel like they are unable to advocate for their staff or solve the problems without key information like the department budget is there. So, therefore, in that case, and the what steps could be taken to build the staff confidence is there because the staff is dejected, staff is feeling dejected staff is demotivated and they, uh, whether uh, these uh, leadership skills uh, in a role as a associate director both management uh, also and so then in that case uh, she has to take certain actions. What advice would you give Lara on improving her leadership skills and on basis of the above that is the 90 days preparation which we have talked about that is uh, how she will uh, create that team because the uh, she is facing this particular problem that you have to answer. The book recommendations, the art of leadership, this particular uh, book of the uh, Kent Curtis uh, is there uh, and uh, therefore, uh, you will find that is the uh, 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 in this book it has been recommended that is the how that uh, different uh, uh, leadership uh, uh, style uh, that will work. And uh, in this case, uh, it will be very, very important uh, uh, that is the whenever uh, we, uh, we, we are changing the organization and uh, when the followers are changing or uh, there is a crisis situation also, all these have been discussed uh, that is the how your leadership style that will be more and more effective. If you are able to develop your leadership style uh, according to the situations uh, and then, then definitely uh, you have to change you have to change your the art of leadership and whenever you are changing this uh, art of leadership then definitely you will be able to come out uh, with the successful uh, uh, situations. Uh, in this uh, we have talked about uh, enhancing the lessons of experience uh, right uh, that we have discussed in the earlier session also this particular book that is uh, the same book we is continue to give you this uh, recommendation that is the uh, how uh, this uh, uh, book will be helpful uh, in, 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 in the case uh, by understanding from the experiences of others when you, you are having the ex, uh, learning from the experiences of others uh, definitely some of them situations that will be helpful to you to solve the problem while the some of the situations that may not be uh, the same then definitely uh, again I will say which I have mentioned earlier also that you, you are supposed to be the creator because from the experience of others right you can get an exposure 
you can get an understanding. But uh, uh, getting this uh, this same situation in same leadership style, don't do not copy that, right? That that will not be useful because ultimately, what is important is this: that is, uh, in a given situation, you have to adopt uh, your own uh, style by doing the perfect homework. So, this is uh, um, uh, all about uh, uh, this uh, particular uh, the first 90 days basically the, the leadership styles which we are talking about and these books of this uh, um, the Robbins, Judge and Vora right uh, Obi's book uh, this is also becoming uh, uh, very helpful to understand the leadership and the leadership enhancing the lessons of experience uh, uh, which has been mentioned uh, uh, then definitely uh, th this will be uh, a, a sort of the uh, the, the supporting uh, references uh, uh, for which uh, whatever you have learned uh, this type of references uh, that will create you the more uh, uh, more reading and more understanding so all this about uh, uh, these the leadership in the first 19 days and the settling yourself as a leader uh, with your team members. Thank you.